Hello, I'm Adam from Tati Bikes, and here's our guide to brake pads. Now, the pads we're going to use here for demonstration are all to fit hydraulic rim brakes, such as the Magura HS33. That's the most common selling rear brake for a trials bike, but all the principles we're going to talk about here apply to V-brake pads as well. Now, the main question we get asked is which pad shall I use for my smooth rim or my ground rim? If you're not quite sure of the differences between the two, I've got some examples here for you. So the rim on this side is a smooth rim, untreated from manufacture, smooth surface, Pad works great in the dry, but if you get some wet or some dirt on there, the performance deteriorates quite quickly. That's why some riders, especially competition riders, grind their rims using an angle grinder to roughen up the surface. That allows the water and dirt to channel away, gives you much better braking in sort of dusty or dirty or wet conditions. If you do have a ground rim though, it's important to choose the right pad. Something very soft like the Onza Citrus pad will work great on a smooth rim. It's got these little channels here to help clear water and dirt, but if you use them on a grind rim, because they are a soft compound, they will wear down quite quickly. That's where something like the trial croco pads come in. Now we've got the brown ones here, but they come in various different colours, but the brown ones are the most popular. We find these work great in dry and wet conditions on a ground rim, and they've got plenty of wear life as well. If you do want something even better than that, uh, obviously you've got to pay the price, as with anything, if you, if you pay a bit more you get, you get a slightly better product. You can get aluminium backed pads, very, very fancy. Because it's so stiff, it gives very good braking performance, transferring more force from your finger into the rim. But one little thing you need to make sure is that the pad is set up perfectly squarely because there's absolutely no flex in the backing. On a side note, one quick thing to mention is that some riders confuse hardness with wear resistance. Now you can have a very soft feeling pad that lasts a long time on a ground rim. So check out our website for insider information about this. So I hope our guide was useful. If you need any more help, don't hesitate to ask.